Hey there, Akuma fans. Charlie with the Gossiker Application staff. Holy cow, I'm still alive. It's been like six months since I've seen you guys out here on the web, but, uh, you know, it's been busy as all get out. Been running like a chicken with my head cut off. So today I've got a delightful uh, and simple switch to show you guys. Most of you uh, Akuma users already know that the default file extension for a main program, whether this is a mill, a lathe, multitasking center, all of them, .min. Okay, doesn't matter. It's still nothing but a binary text file. So when I first bought an Akuma and I brought a program into my, uh, my PC and I said, hey, I want to read this .min program, obviously the computer went, I don't know how to do that. And I just said, hey, I use Simcoe Editor, I use Predator, or I use WordPad, whatever. And as soon as the computer learned that .min is nothing but a binary text file and I can open it with this piece of software, I'm good to go. I'm done. But on the other end of that spectrum, a lot of post processors uh, for different softwares out there, they don't necessarily know that .min is our preferred file extension or the switch to make it, make them punch out a .min is so deeply hidden that uh, we can't possibly find it. So let's modify our machine a little bit. We can set the machine to use a different file extension for main programs and whoop, whoop, all my problems are solved. I am on a Multis right now, but again, this goes for all P300 and 200 controls and to a certain extent P100 as well. But let's jump to our program operations. That's the MD1, the, the directory. You'll notice that here I've got a .min and a .nc. NC is one of the more common file extensions post processors punch out, NC, NCF, uh, TXT, but I have two of them in here. The control will take it. It accepts them. It just says, oh yeah, okay, fine. Here's the catch. If I do my program select right now, all it's going to show me is the .min, the default. So I'm going to change the default. And the way to do that is to go back over to your MD1, the program operations key. And if I arrow over one time, you see I've got a button here called preferential settings. Hit that guy, now I've got the file pattern, and right at the top, there's star.min. That's my default for main program. So I'm going to change that up to read star.nc. Now you got to make sure you have the star in there, you got to make sure you have the dot in there. It will work if you omit those, but it won't retain that as default. So, okay. Now I'm going to cycle power on the machine and we're going to see what happens here. Okay, so now my machine is re, uh, reinitialized. Confirm the main box. We always do that. Now this time when I do my program select, boom, now my default is .nc and I'll be using that forever and a day. Now if I have multiple file extensions. I've got it, as you saw, I've got a .min and a .nc. I can, if I chose to, touch the file name and change it .min, star .min, okay, and now I can switch back, but by having changed it from the uh, program operations page and the preferential setting file pattern, I have modified my default. So it will always on power up go to whatever's here. Although as you saw, I do have the opportunity to change it on the fly. Now for a bunch of you guys that uh, have had Gossiker in house when your machine was brand new, a lot of times we've made this change for you. Hey, all right, you guys wanna use .nc, everything's fine right up until you get some kind of upgraded software. As soon as the software gets reloaded into the machine, 
that default goes back to .min. So hang on to this process because you can use it any time that uh, your software gets updated and you lose your default. Hope this helps you out. If you need anything while you're out there, remember that your local Gossiger staff is always there to help you out. And we look forward to hearing from you down the road. Thanks. Have a great day.